Good morning. It is day four of having Fern with us, and we're going to do, uh, we're going to introduce Fern to a little bit of recall. Now, recall just means calling the dog back to you and having the dog come back when asked to. So, first of all, you need to know the words of command you're going to use. Now, I always use the dog's name first and then give the instruction. My instruction is come. And I'll later on down the line, I'll use hand signals as well. But we're only doing verbal at the minute. My wife uses the command come here. So that's what she's going to use. That's what I'm going to use. And you can use it both. The dog will differentiate between the two, the two of us, and the two different words. And she'll associate that when mommy says come here, it means do this. And when daddy says come, it means do this. What you also need to have in mind is the bigger picture of what you want further down the line. So further down the line, when I say, when I ask one of the dogs to come, it should come, whatever it is, from behind me, beside me, or whatever, come round the front of me, sit in front of me, and look up at me. Not sit over there, not sit over there, not stand there, not come to my heel. The dog should sit right in front of me and look up at me. Um, Wesley does the same. You might want your dog to just be somewhere near you so you can call it away from other dogs up on the road or just so you can grab it and put a lead on it. So it doesn't matter what you want as long as you have that idea in your mind from day one and build towards that. You don't expect it on day one. I'm not going to expect for him to come and sit here and look up at me. But what I am going to do is always have that bigger picture in my mind and build towards it with everything I do to do with recall, to do with getting it to sit and to do with building eye contact with it. So what we're going to do, Leslie's going to hold the dog, I'm going to attract the dog's attention and get the dog to want to run towards me. I'm going to say her name and then the command and the second I say that command, my wife's going to let the dog go and the dog's going to come towards me and I'm going to make a great big fuss of her and then we're going to repeat the process. Leslie's going to get the dog's attention give the dog a command, and as soon as she gives that command, I'm going to let go. Um, you can do it on your own. So I, I would, if I was on my own, I'd wait till the dog walked away from me, then I'd get her attention, I'd run away, and I'd give that command as she was running towards me. Um, but it's, it's easy with two of us, and it's also going to build a bond with the two of us. Now what I also do is I sit like that, because that's a channel, that channels the dog into me then as well. Um, I'm younger and far more flexible than my wife and she can't sit like that so it's not a, a drama if you can't but if you can it, I think it helps. My wife sitting at the minute like that I would advise against that because that's, that's encouraging the dog to go underneath your legs and away from you so I'd, I'd stop that straight away I'd just sit a different way. So I'm going to call the dog's name to get her attention and to associate that word with looking towards me. I'm going to give that command. The second I give that command, my wife's going to let go. Good girl. Good girl. Is it good girl? Good girl. And the aim should be to make this tail go like a little rocket. Good girl. That means she's happy. Good girl. So we're going to do it again. So she's going to get attention, possibly by saying the name, loads of clapping and high pitchness. And then she's going to give the command. Ben, Ben, come here, come here. Yes, good girl. Good girl, Ben. Yes, good girl. I'm just going to repeat it and repeat it. I'm not going to do half an hour of it because my attention span doesn't last that long, never mind the dogs. But three or four at a time, and that's perfect for the first start. Ben, Ben, come. Good girl, good girl. Here's a good girl. Good girl! Yes, you're a good girl! Don't you? Good girl! So we'll do one more. What you want to do when you're doing any kind of training is always quit having to achieve what you want to achieve. Don't do it that many times that the dog gets bored and you get bored and in the end when you say, come here, she runs over there because you failed then. You want to always quit having to achieve something and still being able to achieve it. So quit while you're ahead and never quit while you're behind. So one last time. Come here. Come here. Good. Good girl. Good. And that is perfect for now. And what you want to do is just repeat that 
loads and loads and loads and loads of times throughout the day, yeah. but just three or four times at a time like that. And eventually that will go in far quicker than doing half an hour at a time.